Agnes Adebisi Ologwe. As you can tell by my scarf, I'm African, I'm Nigerian, and I'm really proud. Today is going to be the longest three minutes of my life, but here it goes. So, like I said, my name is Agnes Adebisi Ologwe, and thank you for coming here. So, a bit brief background of who I am. I'm black, as you can see. Um, I'm African, as I've told you. I am 20 years old. I used to be a student council member in my sixth form. I'm currently a mentor, student ambassador. I used to be a cadet fight the power. Um, I used to, <laughs> that's the wrong quote, um, I used to, I am part of the ACS team, a really wonderful team, and I'm part of the Speak Out team as well, so, um, society. So why did I decide to run? I decided to run because I see a gap that needs to be filled in SOAS. Student welfare is really important to me. As a student who suffers from dyspraxia, as a student who's lost two aunties and couldn't go through the mitigation circumstances, as a student who goes under stress a lot, I didn't know who to turn to. And knowing that the student um, council is facing cuts as well, how are we going to deliver services to students who are weak, who need someone to talk to, who need some profession to talk to? Personal advisor, they only want to know how your grades are. They don't know what is happening in your life, who has died, who is missing, who you love, what are the other things that matters to you? They only care about, about that grade. But then they fail you. They tell you to get a first, you need originality, you need to be competent, you need to engage with the question. But then the moment you say something that challenges them, they say, clear misunderstanding, feedback. Why are they telling you about your coursework? They don't tell you enough. They don't tell me enough. How am I meant to progress in an institution so wonderful, so great? How am I meant to progress? I'm here to change that. Assessments need to be changed. They need to listen to student voice. As a student who suffers from dyspraxia, my, student, my teachers don't know I suffer from this learning difficulty. How are they going to accommodate me and several of the students who suffer like me? Let's think about that for a moment. Another thing I want to talk about is accommodation. We students, we suffer a lot, we have to pay rent, we do jobs to catch up with so many things that's going on with our life. I travelled two hours all the way from Essex because I couldn't afford two grand just to stay here in London. Let's think about that. How much do we have to suffer just to be able to get the education and get something written on a piece of paper that said we graduated? So another thing that really matters to me is justice for cleaners. As a student, not many people know that I did. I used to be a cleaner when I was 16, that was my first job. And I worked for a subcontracting um, company called Initial. And I used to go at four o'clock in the morning with my mom to do a cleaning job for two hours. Pay was bad, treatment was bad. I felt the lowest of all the lowest. Why aren't you bringing me in when you talk about equality in such an institution? So let's take a moment to think about what our institutions stand for. What have we painted to the world about our Self. Are we living up to that standard? And I'm here to make sure SOAS lives up to that seconds. standard. And we the students, we matter. We really, really do matter. You matter. And I'm here to make sure that SOAS is held accountable to that. Thank you very much for listening to me.